A president angry at a dad for refusing to say thank you, and so angry at a U.S. senator that he all but says, screw you. Forget about either comment not being presidential. At what point does the president see such remarks don't even border on being human? So what if LeVar Ball doesn't credit the president for getting his son and two other UCLA basketball players out of the jam and likely jail after being charged with shoplifting in China? And so what if Senator Jeff Flake is caught off mic saying the Republican Party would be toast if it's stuck with the president and Roy Moore? Is it me or does the president look like he's punching down when these are the incidents that get him all riled up, like he's using a bazooka? to respond to a peace shooter is it really necessary, especially when in the case of the UCLA thing, all three players did thank the president for getting them home, including LeVar Ball's son, LiAngelo. And in the case of Jeff Flake, did zing the president, yes, but saved his real fire for Roy Moore and the dangers he represents for the Republican Party. No matter what you think of Senator Flake, does it justify the president's over-the-top reaction to Senator Flake, tweeting that he will be a no on tax cuts because his political career anyway is toast. Lovely. Keep tweeting stuff like that, Mr. President, and those tax cuts just could be toast. You might call him part of the swamp and not care, but throwing mud at a U.S. senator doesn't make you any less swamp-like, so maybe you should care. And wishing maybe you should have left those UCLA players in China because a dad wouldn't thank you makes me wonder whether this isn't about players or senators. This is about you and respect shown to you, and constant praise shown to you, and gratitude bordering on groveling shown to you. As President of the United States, doesn't that already come with the territory? So why are you clawing for more real estate? You've got the real estate. You've got the White House. You've got all the advantage of being the most powerful human being on the planet that you don't have to throttle any human being who offends you on the planet. Let your achievements speak for themselves. Let your clear influence to get those players out of China speak for you. Not a kid's dad who just might be embarrassed, but that kid and his buddies who already told the nation and you they were grateful. Pick your fights, because neither of these seems worth the fuss. You wanted a thank you, you got it. You wanted a reason to go after a senator you hate, you pounced on it. But last time I checked, you are the president of the United States. Why don't you act like it? Good night.